How are you guys doing? So I'm in the dark here because we got a lot of stuff happening here. And we also got the laser. And I took out the spatial filter. So we're just running two kinematic lenses or two kinematic mounts. And yeah, so the beam's going out there. And it's getting hit in this sensor here. This can move up and down. And that's live on this laptop. So if I go over to Linux CNC, and that's my W axis. And, okay, so that's 93. So if we go one millimeter down, one millimeter up. Ninety four in there somewhere. Yeah, so it's pretty uh, pretty stable. The uh, motion I'm getting is I think because of the uh, laser driver, it's uh, it might be current sensing, so it's giving that oscillation. And also I have a lot of uh, light leakage in here because I got the door open, just so I can see what I'm doing. So over here. Uh, this tool here runs Linux CNC remotely, it's Python based, and its job is to loop over a surface and use the W axis and detect the laser beam from this machine. So this machine has a socket server open, and then this Linux CNC machine is connected to it, and they're talking. So as this thing loops around, I jump over into code. So there. right now I don't have the uh, the uh, sample height, the Z value, uh, used anywhere. Uh, right now it's just looping around. But uh, let's see what it looks like when it's it is moving around. This is not my Z height. This is just a mountain. I just needed some sample data. Uh, I'm using Plotly Python, and, and it's using 3JS, which is giving me a nice OpenGL. Uh, three-dimensional surface. So if I hit the run button, hopefully nothing explodes. So I can see over here, this thing is taking samples. Samples are coming in. I'm not using the samples currently, but as it's going in, it's gonna plot this. And I'll have two modes on this, one where where I'm uh, taking a sample and then I machine the offset down. And another one I'll just have it where I'm uh, just plotting along and taking samples in the grid. Uh, what the G-code looks like that it's generating, I should be able to see in Linux CNC. There it is. Zoom in there. So that's what it looks like. It's just making a bunch of circles. And this is being driven remotely from that Python script with a nice little UI there. So there I am with things. So far, this is quite stable. So like this is being picked up real time on the machine. And the machine, that W sensor, is quite, quite stable. Let me uh, move the UI over more. You can see how I don't have the uh, X and Y uh, completely level with the base of the machine and I've been just kind of eyeballing it with uh, tramming the uh, optical kinematic mount so there's a bunch of screws in there and stuff so I'm just trying to tram it in there to get it going but yeah that's how things are um, next step oh don't want to do that Next step is to uh, get this thing properly reading the data and then using that data to then offset and machine all this. And some of the G-code here, obviously I have to get the W-axis uh, also moving up and down and uh, taking into that account. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.